Hi Donna, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What a treat that we met in the uh, schoolyard the other day. One of the things I love about this neighborhood is the yeah. surprise meetings you have with people who you instantly sort of feel you know, but yeah. you've just met them. It's true. And I, I'm glad you were wearing your t-shirt because I probably wouldn't have uh, really got going if I hadn't read your t-shirt. Yes, certain times I will wear the branded clothing in the neighborhood, try to <laughs> drum up some conversation and some interest but largely because I have so many of those teachers. Certainly work this time. So tell me, what brought you to this neighborhood and what do you see as really terrific about it? We, we love the neighborhood. Um, we looked for two and a half years at a very slow pace before we moved in. Neighborhood feel was very important to us. And when we moved in, we found a house that we liked and could afford. What really caught us was the warmth and the embrace of the people on our street and the streets around us. This is a real community. It is a community for sure. What we discovered quickly was that many people here are lifers. They have been here forever. Their kids were raised here. They went to yeah. school here. Um, so the college age students across the street who sometimes babysat for us, you know, want to know if Mr. C is still teaching at the school around the corner because they had him. And again, we hope to be lifers as well. This is a great, great community. Yeah, it's a great community for every age and every interest. And I think people are respectful and considerate with one another, and that's really great. Yeah, this is, aside from the amenities, because having Eglinton up there with all its shops and all of its local colors is fantastic, but it really is the people. Uh, what we find is that this is an odd neighborhood. It's sort of wedged in between some um, higher end neighborhoods, or at least that's the way we think the market plays it. But the people here are genuine. We're all, um, I think, very conscientious. I think we're all very bright. And we all, you know, make choices. And the choices, I think, here are largely community and family oriented. So tell me about your product because I got very excited when you gave me that quick little two second presentation. And I love when people <laughs> intuitively get it or get curious about it. We make soap out of berries. This is the outer shell of a soap berry, aka soap nuts. You might have heard of them called soap nuts. But it really is a berry. The, these berries grow on a soapberry tree. It's a big, massive tree that takes a long time um, to mature. But the idea is that there are plants out there where if you put them into water, as I'm doing now, give it a little bit of a shake, you get a froth. And that froth is soap. So if you've ever washed quinoa, lentils, or chickpeas, and it froths, that is soap made out of saponin, which is the main ingredient really? in our soap derived from soap berries. So what you're showing me now, is that what's in the small vials? That yes, the ones I showed have? you. This mm -hmm. is a two milliliter vial of soap berry extract. What we've done with this is boil down the berries, think soup, but it's a little yeah. bit more complicated than that, concentrated it to uber small levels for convenience and just because we think less is less. It really is more. And this does a whole load of laundry. That's it does amazing. it naturally, safely, so it's safe for people with sensitive skin. It's safe for all fabrics, including athletic wear or silks, because it is so gentle. Uh, it softens naturally, so you don't need a second um, chemical-laced uh, product to soften. And it's just that simple. It does work. That's fantastic. Look, I'm used to... Um small amounts of laundry soap because I've been kind of in this eco-maniacal mode for some time and I buy those um, safe laundry soaps and they're so concentrated that you use a questionable amount but it's about a hundred times more than that. Well yes and again there is people have um, expressed to us some healthy skepticism whether this can actually work but it does and we find it's, there's an aspirational aspect to this for those who understand the product as you do and are intrigued by it, you want this to work. You're overjoyed when it does. Well, you want it for a number of reasons. You want it for everybody because it's healthy, but it also cuts down on shipping and packaging and all of the things that we're choking on right now. Right, and again, for, from a business perspective, lowering my cost and being able to lower my price to you is critically important. Um, Good for you for doing such a fantastic thing. We're and really, really glad and proud yeah. of this. I can't wait for it to be everywhere. We're hoping. We're hoping. We launched in the States um, two years ago, and we're now bringing it up to Canada. That's great. Because I'm a Canadian boy. I can't wait to be using this on a regular basis. 
Thanks a lot for taking the time, Jamie. Really good to meet you here in your home. Wonderful and to meet you too. And again, I, it was a wonderful surprise meeting you in the park. I'll see you on the belt line. You will. Bye.